Welcome to the battlefield, my warriors. This is Dark Son of Legend playing a new game for you, Portal 2. Um, excited to be getting into this. Um, I actually, right now, I'm playing games as I feel like playing them, you know? Um, so, oh, I thought I'd press single player. There we go. Um, so, yeah. Um, I wanted to play Portal 2 here. I've, I felt like in, I was in the Portal mood and... Portal 2 is a relatively short game, so I figured that it would be a nice, sweet let's play. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. I've um, been playing Storm 3 for a while now, actually. Almost finished playing it, not quite. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying that anyway. But I wanted to give you guys a fresh new game. Like I said, it's not really short, but it's not really long either. I think I can get through this game in like somewhere between 6 to 9 hours, which uh, I guess actually can be about as long as a single player campaign usually is on a game but you know it, it depends on how well I do you know it depends on um, how well I can remember the puzzles or at least solve them if I don't remember them um, I haven't played the game in a while so I'm not trying to cheat or anything I'm not trying to you know just breeze through it but hold on I'll, I'll let the intro go through and I'll continue talking afterwards mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise oh well this is the uh, mandatory exercise hold on never mind oh actually I remember um, audio video closed captioning there we go there we go okay oop hold on there we go okay that should do it um, I was told, uh, I don't know if Jack and Daxter had the option to do subtitles, but I was told that uh, I should do subtitles, especially with the full vid commentary, and Portal 2 is definitely one of those games where you need the subtitles if you're talking through it, so um, let's try that then. Good. You will hear a buzz when you there we go. Look down at the floor. Okay, and also, as usual, with the end of the first episode, I will be looking back and making sure that uh, the the uh, commentary audio and the gameplay audio is um, up to par with my liking. I did try testing a few videos to get a, a good uh, contrast in the beginning, but I'm not quite sure how it will turn out. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that. But anyway, what I was saying before is I wanted to get a good contrast. Portal is a is a really fun game. It's a unique game too. It has a very it, it's a puzzle game, but it's a story driven puzzle game, not something like Tetris or whatever. And I feel that that's unique. Um, and at the same time, it also has a very uh, awesome sense of humor. Very unique. <laughs> I know I'm using the word unique a lot, but it has an awesome sense of humor. Really funny. Um, and it's really fun, you know? It's a puzzle game that actually gets you thinking for once. Um, and I, I, you know, it's just different. It's different from what most people play on YouTube, at least as far as I've seen. And it also um, is very different from the games that I've played so far, even though I've only played a few games up to this point. And this, you're hearing Wheatley right now, he likes to talk a lot, and I'm never actually waited long enough to find out if he doesn't, if he ever stops talking um, in any situation, let alone this one, uh, and when he's first introduced, but we'll go answer the door anyway. Are you okay? Are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out. Oh man, Wheatley always you makes might me laugh. Want to hang on to something? Word of advice. Up to you. Except I can't hang on to anything in this game. Let's see. Oh wait. There. Yep. Yeah, there is the chair. The square button is to grasp onto anything, and I can't grasp onto anything. Ah! Ah! Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. 
I told you guys, <laughs> the humor in this game, I mean, it's, it's like a dry, um, it's like, I don't know, dry, um, ironic, like, just dry humor, you know, like, uh, most of it's like sarcastic or ironic or whatever, but it has like a dry, dry sense of humor, but it's an, it's a funny sense of humor, I find it funny. Like right here, how it says, say apple and all you do is jump. Oh my goodness. Um, this game is great. I hope you guys do get a laugh out of it. Um, if you haven't uh, seen the game before, or even if you have, hopefully the game the uh, game's jokes haven't uh, grown old on you or anything. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept Man, I'm you getting jiggled around in here. The 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Um, I just don't. Just get through here. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, Jeez. I can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Yeah, just like all the rest. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. <laughs> Oh man, this okay, game makes there. me laugh so much. Um, and if you guys haven't noticed, Wheelie talks a lot like me, minus the British accent. I don't have one of those. Uh, too bad. Darn. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he talks a lot like me. He talks a lot, and he also, uh, you know, changes the subject randomly a lot. Like how we said, uh, if anyone asks, and then he changes the subject, and nobody's gonna ask, don't worry. But then he and then he goes back. But if anybody asks, you know, I do that kind of thing a lot, and I don't really like it. But you know, that's how I am. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh man, that was uh, yeah. They, they do a really good job with the physics in this game. Like, when you go slam into that wall, you really feel the velocity there. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that. Yes. Yes, I am. Just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Alright. Whee! Alright. Off you go. I know. I know. Stop pestering me. Oh! Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Well, that's However, not thanks to good. Emergency testing protocols, testing oh man, the tears come into my eyes. Will provide instructional and motivational oh my goodness. Support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Because that's the most important the thing. Will open. Science. And emergency testing will begin in three. Two, one. Science, no matter what, people. There's my toilet. Wait a second. What is this? Oh, it's a clipboard. I thought it was a calculator at first. Well, let us do some science, people. Let us do some science. Now, can anybody read this clipboard? Let's go into the right here. Um, uh, portal test sequence... I can't read the rest, except, oh wait, something identification card. Uh, sorry, I'm leaning in here. Okay, I see their pictures. There's a cube falling down. It looks like there's someone being hit in the head with a cube. Then it looks like a crime scene with a blood splatter or something. Um, what is that? I don't know, maybe a spider eating a butterfly? Is that one of the ink blot tests or something? Then it looks like someone being electrocuted. Then it looks like someone falling out of a hole into another hole. Then it looks like someone being rocketed out of a hole past another hole. And then there's someone being impaled by a giant mosquito. 
Um, have no idea what that is. A fetus, maybe? And then that looks like... Um, a TV... No, that's not a TV set. That's a cake. Oh, that's a reference to Portal 1. Uh, where you would get cake at the end of the test if you passed it. Oh, and there's a reason... Well, first of all, the one reason I'm not playing Portal 1 is because I don't have it. Um, but there's also a, another reason I'm not playing Portal 2. Like, not uh, going out of my way to play it before this one. And you'll find out in the next, like, episode or two. But for now, alright. We got our science clipboard, let's go do some science. Let's do science-y things. We have to put our clipboard down for a second. And we get to put a box on a button. There we go. We did some science. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd my clipboard go? I can't see it no more. Oh, there it is. Good. Alright. That, that's dangerous. No! My clipboard! It disintegrated! Oh, well. Alright, looks like we're past the first test. Pretty hard, huh? So... And that, coupled with my clipboard shenanigans, has made this video like 11 minutes. So, I'm going to pause it here. Thanks for watching the first episode, guys, of Portal 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the dry humor of Portal 2, as well as my humor. I don't really know if you would what you would call it. Um, if you want to call it dry, so be it. Hopefully you guys at least get a kick out of it. But yeah, so... Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, wait, did I already say this? Oh well. In, in case I didn't, I don't remember. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm Wheatley, guys. I'm like a human version of Wheatley here. So, anyway, so if you liked the video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next episode.